So, uh, I ha I have sent you a, a Richard Wilson lesson that I just discovered, and uh, it turns out it's from four eighteen ninety one. Should have been my first year studying with him. And <laughs> well, I'll show it. He's, I've antiqued it. It's become antiqued. Right. And and so this is the kind of thing that Richard Wilson would write. Unlike Murray, who wouldn't write in such a modern way. He typically wrote things so that it was in 4-4. Yeah. <laughs> and, and perhaps if it's in 4-4, you don't need to think so much about paying attention to the metronome marking. And you can spend more time thinking about how you're playing, but that wasn't enough for Dick. He wanted you to really understand music. He also found ways via, for instance, <clears throat> this interesting metronome marking to help drummers not mark one. Because as far as he was concerned, drummers didn't mark one to help the rest of the band know where one was. They would mark one to help themselves know where one is. So the metronome starts to float. And here we have something in first bars in 4 4, and the second bars in 15 16. And, uh, and the metronome is a half note tied to an eighth note. 40 to 72. Right now, that means that you have to pay attention with regards to where that you want to call it the first click or the second click. The first click will start on one. The next click is going to land somewhere relative to said half note tied to a an eighth note. Right now, that might be a little fast for you. Yeah. It's fast for all of us, you know. This was my first year studying and he had me playing like that. Uh, and and so um but we could we can uh, uh create our own metric marking or our own uh time speed relative to whatever we want. So instead of it being a half note tied to an eighth note, it'd be, and, and the first click would come sooner if we made it a dotted quarter note. Yeah. It'd be a dotted quarter note. So the first note would land on the fourth eighth note, right? Because that would be six sixteenth notes, which is, a dotted quarter. Dotted quarter is three eighth notes. Each eighth note has two sixteenths. That gives you six. So the first click after we start at one would land on the fourth eighth note. And then and then on the seventh eighth note. Then we're into 16th notes in 15, 16. And the first click within the context of the 16th notes would be on the third 16th note, right? Then if you were to count six, it'd be on the first of the third group of 16th notes. And then you have three 16th left over to make 15. So it'd be on the last 16th note of that of those last three 16ths. 
Now, there were certain students that would really get into it and and it, they'd write the whole thing out. It might be an entire page before the thing finally turns around. And 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 that's really cool. I mean, that's really being a honest to goodness nerd, drum nerd. Uh, but sometimes you'd get frustrated with the drummers that were so frustrated that, that they weren't willing to just let go and try to feel. Yeah. I would let go and try to feel, which he commented on in a positive way. And it's true. We we can we can sit down and write the whole thing out. We can spend time just getting through it once and being sure that we're landing where we're supposed to be landing, or we can just play by feel. Right? So there are different ways to approach it. But it's a modern concept that I thought you would find interesting and appreciate. Right? It's like the way, you know. I think Elliot Carter writes this way, right? It's very modern. Yeah. And, uh, and Dick was writing this way back in 74 for a full orchestra with a rhythm section for which he got three national endowment grants. It's mind blowing. And there's some of it up somewhere. I think maybe I played it for you at a lesson. You may have. So on one of your lessons, it's Mark, Dick Wilson, National Endowment. So it's up there. That music. <clears throat> OK. So if we put the metronome on at 40. <laughs> going back in time here. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Have to land there. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's a little slow. So somewhere there, I was a little slow because I was just a little bit behind the last eighth note of the group of three. Right? Okay, so you can spend some time really locking stuff in. One, two, three, four. That's the one you want to get to. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three. I uh, just a little bit ahead. Got the idea though? But the gig is, is to just, for me, it's not the gig, it's one of the ways you can approach this. But what we're trying to do is just believe in our own sense of time, right? It's really getting to that first click and then just not letting go, right? So it'd be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, a little ahead. One, two, a little ahead. One, two, three, four. 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 And then you just believe in it. that in 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 three Kevin because of the fact that we've we've spotted uh order no happening. Now what's that? Now what's that? Because I'm asking wouldn't you count it in three because you've got that dotted quarter uh, note happening? No, no. No you, you count it in, in as it's written. Oh, you I count understand. four fifteen. And now the fifteen you and and so I'm thinking that way. Uh, but once, I'm in, once I'm into 15, there's different ways you can count it in that I'm going, I'm trying to get to four. One, two, three, four, 
and I know there's going to be another group. We could five, six, seven, eight. We could do that. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, one uh, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You could do that. I prefer to just one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, right? You could do it that. But the gig is is to not is to get to that fourth eighth note yes. and hold on to that speed. Try it. Metronome on 40. No, 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 this is cool. <clears throat> this ain't your grandmother's right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. No, they, they, this is a whole new ball game. So let's see here. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, three. Oh, you almost had it. Okay, yeah. Let me see. Because I'm trying to count it the way you're counting it. One, two, three. Uh, see? Yeah. Right. Oh, one, two, And you see now, now one is gone. You just have to keep time. This helps your time so yeah, much. Yeah. It's amazing, right? What one more time this? at this tempo. Yeah, let me try this again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now uh, Dick had <laughs> had his at forty, and uh, Kevin, you got you have to like you have to scan Richard's scripts and, and or, or or make PDFs out of them or scan them and make PDFs out of them. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, I should we should turn them into a book or something. Like like I'd, I'd love to see them, but I, like I know that you know you should you should you you and Richard should do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's this, there, and he would, you know, he he took me to the shop where he would buy his paper. And it could only be one kind of paper. It had to be this thick yellow. And he would write with uh, with a quill. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It was kind of cool, right? He, and he'd have the felt underneath his arm, and you'd sit there with his fingers crossed on a one of those old school clipboards and he'd be dipping and writing. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I think at some point, at some point, he, he couldn't get the pens that he want. He just ended up finding very high end pens. But here I think it was, yeah. I'm sorry, I can't quite remember, but you get the idea. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, know. It's cool. OK, so. Uh, all right, so. That's 40. Let's try it at 52. See what happens. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like that. I'm like that. 
Okay. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Wait, 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 wait. Did you start left with the 16th? Because they start right. Oh, they start right. Okay, hold on a sec. Okay, let me try that again. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Uh, you can't stumble. You know, come on, it's have to smoothly go into it. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Not bad, Joe, you know, but, but, oh, yes. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Four, one, two, three. One two three four one two three four one two three four one two three ah uh. one two three ah uh. one two three four one two three four one two three four ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh. one two three four. right take it 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 dick dick who was there with it in the Don Ellis odd time big band right yeah. at the beginning and said he, he helped with regards to because that was something new to everybody even to don apparently and and dick was the odd time guy when he went in there and he he had ways of helping the band hear where to come back in huh? one two one two one two three one two one two one two three one two one two one two three one two one two three ah uh, Ah, uh, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, ah, 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 and as soon as I heard the ah, uh, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, ah, 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 one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, ah, 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 and and that's kind of what you're getting. One, one, two, three, four, 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 one, Every time you hear that, Bob, you play a solo like that. Play anything you want. Whenever you want to turn it around, you just go. Right? Okay. You see where this could go. So one more time, but it can't stumble at the end. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to. It's just part of the time. And stumble at the end. Let's just give me this part. Ah, ah, ah. Let's see. One, two, three, one. Just say that. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. Yeah, I can feel that. That's all that's happening. That's your last one. One, two, three, four, ba da da. Right? When you say four. Four, ba da da. Four, ba da da. So, one, uh, one, take from the 16th notes. Just take it from the 16th. One, two, three. Da, 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 da. Keep going. One, da, 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 two, three, four, da, 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 da. There, you got the idea, okay? Two, Here. Try not to accent it, but you got yeah. the accent. Very cool. Okay, let's let's put it up to uh, try it at uh, try it at sixty. Yeah. One, two, three. Da 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 Okay, now, now what we what we don't want is we don't want you pounding the sticks through the surface. They don't need to be pounded through the surface. Just as this turn with a three finger grip. Check it out. It's just a three finger grip and you're turning your wrist. You, you, you don't need to pound it through the surface. 
just because it's going a little faster. That's right. You're right. Yeah. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Uh, uh, try again. Start again. Yeah, I made a mistake. Though. I'm getting it. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, yeah. one, two, three, four, one, Okay, stop. Stop. One, two, three, four, yeah. one. Oh, okay. Not bad. The gig is to be tough on yourself. Yeah. To, because you want to get to that first. If you don't get to at least the first note, I, I, I'm not sure. You were a little behind or a little ahead. It doesn't matter thing is it wasn't on which isn't easy and that's why you should feel com feel comfortable to just start again one 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 two three four so you have to figure it out one two three four one two three four head one two three four to head one two three four there one two three four there you see just that little bit by the time you get to the end of the second bar you'll be way off you need to get to that first note. Set up the time. Try, try it again. Just get to the first note. Here you do that. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, four, stop, stop. Did you get to the first note? It's not bad. Don't go pounding. Think about the three finger grip. Try it again. So getting back to which first note, the first. See, oh, this is important. It's the first note that's going to come. The, the first click is on the one. So we, we know that. Yeah. But then you've got to get to the second note, which is the fourth, eighth note. Yeah, that's right. And you have to be in time, at least for that short period. You have to get to that. And then you set the groundwork for a positive okay. Okay. result, playing with good time. Mm -hmm. Maintain the time you start with. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. No, stop. Good, good, not bad. Try again. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. Now, now play a little quieter. One, two, three, four, one, two. Uh, we're behind. Change your time. One, two, three, four, one, two. Not uh, a little ahead. One, two, good, no. Try again. You don't get to keep playing. You have to start. You have to get it the first time. You have to start. Nope. You have to start from the start. You don't get to warm up to it. Good. Good. The other thing is, is that you have to land as close to the one as possible. You were exactly on the first, very first click. That has to be correct too. Try. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, good, good, good. You got the idea. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, put it up to 72. That's where Dick had me. That's, that's a good exercise in itself, just playing those eighth note wrist turns against that dotted. I'll, I'll give that to you. Uh, right. Right? Yeah. You, you also, perhaps, I'll give it to you. I'll give you that exercise just with eighth note, but also with a half note tied to it. To uh, an eighth note. <laughs> half note tied to an eighth note. Yeah. See, it, 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 that's where it's getting a little. It would get a, See, we'd be a lot. It'd be a lot faster now. Mm -hmm. Right. If we're at sixty. With, 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 if we're at sixty, and that were the case, which we can do. Now it has to land on. Seventh, the seventh, uh, the seventh, eighth note. See, so you'd want to say the, the number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, it's on seven. One. Oh, I was wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. There. Then you start. The half note 
tied to the eighth node, that's a total of five eighth nodes. So the, the, net, the next click on the maximum is going to fall on the sixth eighth node. Oh, so I was right. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. A half note is four eighth notes. One, to the fifth one. three, four. At, attached to the fifth one. So you're right. It, I was right. It, That's I was correct. The first one. Come it, should be, it should be. You were right. It should be on the six. One, two, three, four, five, six. What what I displayed, we'd have to change the metronome for it to be right. Because Dick would have you landing on who knows where. He'd also have you landing, he'd have you landing in between two eighth notes. Oh. And the next, and the next, right, and the next bar would be 16th notes, and, and then it would land on a 16th note. So you had to land in between two eighth notes. It can get really cool, right? Right, so you're right. So it would, so it wasn't quite as fast as I played it. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, and it'll be on the six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, back to the I have a, I have an original tune. Uh, 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 it's called Miracle. It's in seven. And that's, that, that's all, you know, I probably, that a lot of the stuff I write, I guess, comes from having done this for so many years. But the thing goes, da ba da bum, ba ba da da, oh, ba ba da bum, ba ba da da, ba ba da da ba da da ba da ba da ba one two three four five six, ba ba da da ba da da ba da ba da ba one two three four five six seven, ba ba da da ba da da ba da ba da ba one two three four five six seven, ba ba da 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 ba ba da 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 ba ba da da. Ba ba da dum, ba ba da dum, ba ba da dum, ba ba da dum, ba ba da ba day. Bar seven, right? And so, okay. Give me a sec, Kevin. I need to plug in. I forgot to do that. Things. I'm actually moving out of this unit, so things are disorganized. Okay. Yeah, it looks a little more well lived in today. So you can see it would be a lot faster if it's 72. Yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a half note tied to it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Okay, so, but we're going to play it at 72 uh, with the metronome e equaling a dotted quarter. So go ahead and let me, let me hear that. Let's do that first. I think that's a good first step. Okay. Before we get into the other things. Da 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 You gotta get that da 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 da. The group of three. Yeah. So one two three four 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 one two three four
and I'll be right there. Entertain the good folk. Okay, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to. Say so, hey. Make it an accent. It's not. It's no accent. And now you're starting to get a little loud, right? So to keep the doubt, not I wouldn't call it doubt, just to keep the attack we're looking for, right? Yeah, keep it gentle. Well, it's one way of just describing it. Yeah. 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 We just even if we're turning higher. Should have that quality. It's not. It's not that different thing, right? You're getting the idea, though. Not bad, man. Good, good, good. Sorry, <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so now let, let's move on. Uh, We've been working on the alternating flam. <clears throat> it's important to get in the stroke, right? We want to keep working on strokes as well. Okay, so you, your singles are coming along. Now, how is the that alternating <clears throat> alternating flam coming along? I know I gave you a cool exercise, which involves which involves singles again, right? You see, I'm. I'm can, can we go through it again, Kevin? Because I, 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 didn't, I didn't practice much in the last couple of weeks at all. Just as at all. Okay. Let's see. Let me, so I had you, I had you at 72. No, go on, put the metronome on at 72. So we had, the, we were playing with them alternating times of eight. We started off at, as half notes. What? Oh no, no, for the alt sorry. That's the modulation. Alternating singles. Yeah. Just go ahead and put the uh, metronome on at 72. So I know I created an adjunct to an adjunct exercise to the alternating flams. But right now, let's just look at the alternating flams. OK, <clears throat> so go ahead. Playing them as eighth notes. Half notes.
I have a fling. Not bad though. Not bad. Coming along, but I, I think what I'm seeing is particularly in your right. It's like after I hear the sound, that could be a delay, but I don't think so, because I'm not seeing that so much in the left. But the gig is we want to just It just stops. Now, I know there's a delay, so it's, it can have a bit of a, a different, you hear the sound just a little bit before, so it can have the feeling like it's still moving because you've heard the sound. But the idea is it just stops. I have to come here. So you're here, right? You're here. Get that part of it. Three finger grip. Right. Take your other fingers off just to show me that you yeah, have that nice three finger grip. Right. Let the other fingers just hang out. And then and then we're going to get the other side of it. Now that forearm, everything comes to a stop at the end together. It doesn't move. What doesn't do this? That means you have to get from here, here to here. All in one fluid motion. Go ahead. Just get to the top. And we really worked on getting both sides of that. Now, give me the down. Mm. We can also break it down. I think Richard Martinez broke it down into three stages at one point. He did this, right? So we're getting this. Right, it's good, right? Then this, and and then the follow through. See the arm, the arm. Murray would say that the arm. It's so. It's all happening so quickly. I don't want to make too big a deal out of every small aspect of this. But Murray would say, doesn't a baseball thrower his come his arm comes to an imaginary stop? Or maybe not imaginary if you're a baseball player throwing a baseball. It, the arm will only go so far. And the very last thing, it's as if it catches up with the arm right at the very end. Now just try this. Got this baseball analogy. Now it it's a, a lot bigger than what we're doing down here, right? But you're you're winding up and then you come all the way back. No, you gotta come back. And that, yeah, you, have you ever thrown a ball? You come all the way back to get as much, you know, back, back. You want, you want it with, you, yeah, you, you're, you're limiting your amount of uh, motion. In other words, the amount of speed you can put on the ball by this much distance. I don't know what that, there's a mathematical equation associated with this, I'm sure. But we want to get that wound up. And we want to, yeah, all right. We're holding that ball. Wrist is a little forward, right? Because it's gonna, it's gonna start to cock as your arm comes forward, and you're gonna get to the end, and they're gonna catch up. Right. Okay. So Murray would talk about the arm coming to an. You got the idea, right? Yeah. Come on. Come on. And it's gotta come forward. You're cocked back. Well. It's as if you start to come forward as you cock the wrist back. There's when you start to come forward. There, and then all the way and it catches up like that. That's, we're doing some kind of modified version of that. We get this part of it. That's where we're here with the wrist in this position, not cocked yet. We're only here, but look, the whole arm's involved. As though we're back here, but we're not, we're just here. The arm is, comfortably involved. And, and now <clears throat> we're going to mimic the part where we cock our wrists and the arm starts to come forward. And here we're going to cock our wrists and the arm's going to start to come forward. And then at the very end, we've got to get the <clears throat> modified version to look something like as the wrist finally stops cocking and moves in the direction of the arm and catches up, we got to get that part too. We've got to get this, like that. 
Much better. Try it again. So you have that? No, don't go all up. You can just take your time. Get to the top. Just go the other way. Imagine you're here. Yeah, right, right, right. You got to catch up. Catch up. There. Okay. Well, doing this. See, it really is. See, you don't, you don't do this. A baseball ball, I think. I'm not a big. I played some tennis. <laughs> right? I'm sure there's, we have a lever arm of some sort. I know. Okay. So we're getting, we're coming all the way back here. And, but we have to get to this position. No. My wrist is I'm doing pronated. Something. You didn't get the pronation. Come on, go. How much? I can almost go all the way back. I'm, I, am, I, I am all the way back. With my holding a ball, hold a ball, and you're pronated forward, pronate the wrist. It's, prom, it's pronated almost as much as I can because I want as much torque as possible. So it's pronated all the way forward, back here, and the arm's almost stretched all the way back. Come on, get it back. So you more distance to throw. Right now, pronate your wrist. Fingers open, holding a big ball, a softball. Yeah, now you're going to cock your wrist as the arm comes forward. There. And it's going to catch up and go towards the, the catcher or towards the pad. All right. So the, the, the reason I went back to that is because, look, you really do get to hear. You don't go like, I don't think. You don't go, which is what you always want to do. It's much better, but it's kind of what you want to do, which I get. You want to get this happening, but watch. And they don't even go back that fast, do they? And they, they got something, there's a way you torque your body and they one leg gets more weight than the other. There's disbursement of some sort. This arm is countervailing, right? I think right? they start off and then they it comes away. And so it has to, it has to just get to here. And then they let it go. But no, but you have to get to the position with the arm, with the wrist cocked all the way back. You might just want to go out and throw a ball sometimes. Just have fun. Come on, cock your wrist. Cock your wrist. Get it back. No, that's per. Sorry, my my bad. Pronate. <laughs> Pronate your wrist. Pronate. Arm further back. So mine's almost stretched out. I, I don't understand why I'm not. Look, watch. I'm going to throw a ball. Don't you want to get this as far back as possible? Look, or you're only going to get this if you only come back to here. You know, you're not going to have a very powerful throw, right? You might quickly whip it somewhere and not want to move that much. But if you're pitching a ball and you have time to wind up, it's called the wind up. You wind up, I think. And look, I'm all the way back like this. So I'm doing. Yeah, but your arm has to be stretched out, so it has all this distance. How far back can you go? Well, it's, yeah, you don't you don't want to completely straight up. You're holding something, so there's a little tiny bend in the elbow, I think. Right, right. And now you've got all that distance to travel. Yeah, like that. So to get to here, Joe, is the gig. I'm showing you that you just don't go willy nilly to here. You throw your arm out of socket. You wind up and you get it to here. Pronated all the way back. Just like you're in a sense, maybe you're all the way up. And try that with me. You're all the way up. Three finger grip. There, you see? You see? You're, it's, it's an approximation, right? And now you're going to cock your wrist. And the arm is going to travel and it's all going to work like that. <laughs> That's what, so if you're if you're tr getting up to here, you have to get to here before you can do that. Right? And you don't go like this. No, you have to precisely wind up, so to speak, like a baseball. And then you go the other way. It's the same as if only you're going up this much. You've got to get to here. You don't just blow through it. You got to get to here, wind up, and then go the other way. There, wind up. Show me your wind up, your modified one. There. See how it comes to a stop, doesn't it? For just a moment. 
You have to get there. But then you're ready to go the other way. Just like a pitcher doesn't just wait here. It's all one fluid motion. No, don't don't blow through it. No, you just want to blow through it. I'm telling you. Here's another way to think of it. I don't spend too much time on this, but it's as if you're prying something up. Yeah. OK, it, it's as if. It's as if you were you, you dug the end of a, 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 a stick under a rock, then put another rock here so you could pry the rock up. You ever done that in your garden or something, right? So you're you're you've got something that is heavy. That you're going to pry up, so you have to put something under here. Am I? Am I no, no, that, that would be going in the other direction. That would work too. Let me see. Yeah, it's just this. Just, just pry, pry it up. You're going to pry it up from, from in, from in here. Yeah, see, you're prying it up. Imagine it's real heavy. It's a 10 pound rock and you've got to pry it up. You're going to push. It's as if you're. There's the pole vault, the Richard Martinez pole vault analogy. You're up here. <laughs> Right? You can actually put the tip on the surface. Go ahead and put it on the surface. Come back down. Okay. So you're not just got something, some willy-nilly thing that you're going to toss her. You're going to actually pry it up. Or look at this. Now I'm in the position where I would be throwing a baseball if it was not modified. Okay. So you got to get to there. So you're prying it up. And just when you get it up, suddenly it's not a 10-pound rock. Now it's this little thing you can... You'd almost flip. You'd be flicking it. Be you'd be flicking it behind you. <laughs> okay, I don't want to get too esoteric. So you've got to go up and get to that position. And now you kind of come down. And now you kind of come down. You don't have to go up anymore. You've already pried it up. Go on up. Wind up there. Now, but, but come the other way. It, it, it's um, it's akin to this. But what? It's akin to this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, ah. See, one, two, three, ah. It doesn't go one, two, three, ah. Remember? This is kind of what you want to do. One, two, three, ah. That's this. One, two, three, and you wait. No, it's one, two, three, ah. One, two, three, ah. One, two, three, ah. Now try that. Say it out loud. One, two, three. Each each number has an increment of of uh, of uh, pronation. Don't do, don't, yeah, you went one, two, three. It's one, two, three. Click, 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 throw. One, two, click, 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 throw. Click, 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 throw. Yeah, go click, 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 throw. Do that. Click, click. No, no, no. Watch. Click, 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 throw. Click, slower, and move less. Click, 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 throw. Do it, do it, do it. Why is your last click so much bigger? Do you always want to get some extra juice in there? It's just the same, nope. It's the same click. Click, 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 other way. Still lift it a tiny bit more, but much better. Do it again. The last, if you went click, two, click, clunk. Click. You don't get to come up. Now you only get, no, you only get, you always want to come up just a tiny bit more. Click, click, clunk. Almost. Don't come up anymore on the last click. There. Remember? There you go. Boom. Cock your wrist here. All right, found a way. Now we're trying to play alternating flams like that. Um, um, um. They're half notes, so there's no upstroke. So click, 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 throw. Click, 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 throw. Click, 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 throw. Click, 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 throw. Go ahead.
Oh, your last click was huge. You want to click, click, click. Oh. You always do that. It's not smooth. Oh. Click, click, click. Oh. There you go. Oh. There you go. Put your metronome on, 72. It's good, man. Different, different, feels different, doesn't it? Half notes. Click, 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 throw. Click, 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 throw. Click, 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 throw. Click, 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 throw. Click, click, throw. Feel it? Uh, down. Uh, down. Oh. Much better. Oh. Okay, now double that speed. Oh. Uh, but I don't know how we're going to do this now. Now we're hooked on the click, click, click thing. Uh, 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 uh. Now, so now there's an upstroke. Click, 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 throw. Click. Is that the right speed? Feels so slow. Okay, so this is quarter, no, yeah, quarter notes. It is slow, but so you just got, oops. I caught myself being a little army in my left. So let's, let's just wait. There it is. So up, up, down, up, down. Click, 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 pro. Click, click, click. And the first click is uh, an upstroke, it's a, is the tap. Click, 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 throw. Click, 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 throw. Click, 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 throw. Click, click, <laughs> after a while. Okay. So you can go faster and still stop down before you start allowing it, and still you start allowing it to rebound. So you're getting two notes via a rebound and not an upstroke. Okay. Go ahead. We're gonna play quarter notes. However you wanna cl click your way through this, it's cool with me. <clears throat> this is, I don't think this is a good habit. You still do this. I don't think this is a good habit. That's leading with your elbow. Every time you do that, you reinforce the wrong thing. If anything, what would you do? You'd want to do this, or you, if anything, you might want to do this. It's okay to bring everything up and let it fall. That's another way you can uh, feel that. Well, I'm just lifting it up and letting it fall. I'm lifting it up flat, letting it fall. Lifting it up flat, letting it fall. That's it. And that click, 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 and everything falls. Okay. And I'm lifting the whole thing up, like going into arms or something. Okay, try. No, no, now we're into the classic single stroke. We're, okay. It's an S, so it's going to look like this. Really isn't set up for that. I'm going to do it. Maybe, <laughs> sort of. But I'll play over here anyway. So, so yeah. So, what am I going to show you? Uh, like, let's make sure I'm at the right speed. Hey, Blams. So what we're talking about now is the classic single stroke. So you see that this hand is just doing this. Up, down. So the first click, remember your first click when you didn't make an upstroke was leaving the beat and leaving it down as you go up. And the first click is that, isn't it? Click, click, click. Okay. All I'm asking you to do is for the first click for you to make contact. It doesn't get to go up. It doesn't go up here, does it, on your first click? All I'm doing is let you're so close to the surface. I just want the first click to make a note. Click, 
Click, click, click, bro. Click, click, click. There you go. See, that's all it is. Do that in the other hand. There, now put them together. Click, 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 throw. No, it's twice as fast, isn't it? Well, that, no, I want, click, click, click. Come on, the first time to the, no, you lost, now you're turning up to the ceiling. You lost your click, you lost your, it's half the effort, twice the speed if you can get this. That's all it's doing, click, 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 throw. Click, 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 click. There you go. Come on. Almost. First click has to be a click down. Now, now, just turn those into just throws at that speed. Just the throw down. Just the throw. Okay. You're not. You're not going up to the ceiling at all. Say click, 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 click. Click, 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 It never goes up to the ceiling, doesn't it? No. Does it? <laughs> so just touch on the first note, on the first click. <laughs> Messing with your mind. No, it's just a little tap as you go up. You're just doing this. And you're going to click, 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 click. It's his. OK, now go to throws. It's good. It's good. OK, now add the note. You will feel almost identical. Hey, almost. go back to throws. Say click, click, click. click, 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 click. Now make a little tap on the first click. you could go twice go twice that speed now just turn those into throws throws it's harder at that time well it's the faster so you really get the timing Just throw, just throw in each hand. No, same speed. Oh, there it is. Put that a note now. Ah, cool. All right, see, you can do it. Suddenly you're, you're going blap, 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 blap. No, you're going dap, 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 dap. Then it goes blap, 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 blap. From a distance, it would look the same. All you see is this. You don't know what I'm doing, do you, right now? Neither do I. Until I put, a, put something on a surface, and then we know for sure, right? Because it's half the effort and twice the speed. You're making this motion that would normally give you one note, and you're getting two notes. The up is for free. All right. Okay. So you were working on, <clears throat> very cool. Okay, so we will we'll continue. I'm, I want to want, want you to work on that stroke with what you just worked on, the, the click, click thing, clicked. So you're going to work on this. And uh, so we went from half notes to quarter notes. Click, 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 click. What are you that fast? Uh, maybe this was one. Click, 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 Eighth note triplets. See if you can get it, get those up at that speed. With throw, I'm going to have you go back and forth this week from a throw to a to a, a just throwing to a flam. Okay, you got that, but we're talking about eighth note triplets. One and a, one and a, two and a, three and. A. 
Metronome on. What will 72 be for a minute? Start with just, four just throw, just throw it first. No, eight, no triplets. Okay. Now just have the other note. The other note. We're going to have to change it all. Throw it in. Ah, I got the idea. Okay, you can, you can get there. We'll add that too. Yeah, I know. It's like, whoa, guys. You can do it. It's good. Now, right now, let's take a look. Let's take a look at uh, your reading, okay? That was Mitch Peters, Roman numeral seven. Let me get it. I asked you to play it by a rebound. Okay, so for those checking it out, uh, so here we are, <clears throat> classic three, the three camps, <clears throat> pardon me, variation, is that a Roman numeral two or an 11? Shows you what I know. Okay, five hand motions per pulse. Right? Now what I've done is I've circled, there are four iterations. There are four iterations as far as I know, unless I miss one. Okay, and I've circled them. Okay, you're caught up in, hope, hope you've remembered your light. Can't show up to the gig without a, no, I always bring the light. A, a light for the music stand and the music. Okay. Okay. So where are you going to play this? Uh, at 60. Okay. Go ahead and put that on. Wait, wait, wait. play it faster but if you're at 60 why don't you play it, show me you can play it at 60 because i have a feeling sometimes you rely on speed to get you by so remember slow rebounds can be more difficult right, that's right this is 50 beats per minute okay
Okay, not bad, but what I'm what I'm seeing is you've lost your position, so it's a, it's a it's a little more tricky if you're going to be half turned over or almost French. We can play half turned over, but what we're working on right now is just classical hands palm down, right? Uh, match grip and 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 then we don't I, 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 I'm not quite sure how you this is what it looks like don't play don't play for a minute so if there's a little feels like there's a little arm you're a little half turned over maybe this isn't as comfortable for you and, and you see, and, and a throw isn't this. Kind of looks like a throw, but we're trying to make a, the throw we just worked on. So you're not going to get that here. See the difference? It's not going to have the same snap. See, you rely on, you're, you've, you've lost this. Where's the palm down thing? Okay, now, now go slower. Go slower. I don't, I don't care about the metronome because you can muscle it out, but we're looking for a particular way of playing. Kevin, can I no. play the game? Stop, stop me in the minute that you see the half, the, the half turn over happening. Oh, okay, okay. Go, go ahead. Just play. You're now. I, I I feel as though your throw. You're not. You're not. You're not doing this. No, come on. No, no, come on. Get to here. Take the stick out of your hand. Wouldn't it hang here like that? Yeah. Now your first finger looks more normal. It's it, it does. It has a different look than the other fingers you've seen. Okay. Well, now it's back to this. But but I, I I feel I just I'm, I'm like this okay I'm just I'm just ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, no no so you're not feeling that okay so let's spin a, see that and I think maybe it's because you're so used to doing this you can get it out this way but where's the motion the wrist doesn't want to pronate when it's in that we want and 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 how, then if you can't pronate how are you going to release. So if you really exaggerated everything, wouldn't it do this? No, the fingers would all come apart. And, and then you're just gonna turn back up, turn back up to get to this position. Okay, so do it again. You're too close to bump into your leg, right? And then you just turn your wrist back up. Okay. So that's one thing you'd want to get in touch with. You might want to just kind of play with that. Okay. Now, now if we're if we're going to the if we're going to the surface and rebounding, it's it's t tiny, t tiny. No, 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 no. Just just no stick. 
I think I have a video where Dick is Dick has got his hand up. It's his left hand, I think. But, ah, Kevin, you've got to you until you feel and he what does he do? He does he does this. I want to feel that. Hey, okay? feel that. So 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 see, that's like getting to the surface and you're a little more open. Look how little that is. I can barely tell. Huh? No, look, look, I'm, you're you're like this. I, here here I am. And and now I'm just. You see, it, it would be this. Go ahead and do, do, do the whole thing. That's good. Now bring that back just to a neutral position. Come on, don't do it with your fingers. Just bring it back from the wrist. They open from the wrist. Yeah, you're probably going to be out of frame, but that's OK. And, and, and then and then. Oh, OK, you're doing that backwards now, but that's fine. And then he's going to do that. OK, and so if, if you were just going to you probably want to probably want to it, it, it doesn't matter. It, 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 just watch me. I'm in frame. And so if you if you were just moving towards the surface. It's so tiny. Look, but it, 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 it is this, but it's I mean tiny. It's tiny. You get rebounds to have. It's tiny. Now the other thing that happens, and see, I'm not going around a fixed point in the universe. I'm, I'm turning down. See, now you've lost the fixed point in the universe. Now you're back to the fixed point. Now you've gone away from it. Now you're back to it. And then if you're going to do a tiny, it would just be so oh, tinier than that. Okay, now if we're going to go up. We could exaggerate it, I guess. See, now you have the fixed point of the universe. I've gone up. That. Remember, we're going to throw a ball. <laughs> that kind of thing, right? Uh, come on, stretch back. You want distance. No, you're you're, you're like this. You're going to lose. Look, literally, that's a lot of distance you're missing out on. Like, like that much. If, if your arm only comes to to he to here and it could go to here and you're gonna try to do yeah why wouldn't you get it up look how much distance you're list, missing out on well you're right you'd have to be in right so you want to get behind you but you already had that but now i'm showing you something else now you're going to go up around a fixed point in the universe and the fingers would open up a little bit wouldn't they it takes no stick it, you have, are you moving around a fixed? I'm up in the air a little bit, but that's good. Are you moving around a fixed point in the universe? Do the, would the fingers, would they open if you did that? Would they open a little? And then if you came back, could they close? See, there should be, the fingers would open. No, you're just pointing, your, you're just doing that. No, 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 no. You don't have a fixed point in the universe. You, you might need to put something under here until you know. Don't let it get in the way of your fingers opening. Now come back down. Now this time go up and let everything hang. See how my, my fingers come apart starting in the largest joint. Look how far my first finger is from my middle finger. You're, you just all stay together. You just you're just doing this. They, yeah, yeah, but don't open them up on purpose. So you're just gonna have to fiddle with this. But I mean, you had it here. Your fingers open there. They would feel like that. Only now you're gonna go up, and your fingers are gonna feel like that. Did they open the way they did when you didn't go up? Okay, now this time you're going to go up around a fixed point in the universe. It's a little different. All right, so that's that's what we want to get in touch with. And as soon as we go to play doubles with without that, we're not we're not in a position where we can maintain this three finger grip and feel what we need to feel. It, if we start to pump our arms, we lose. 
we lose the feeling of how the wrist motivates the fingers ever so slightly. So we want to stay in palm down for that. Okay. We don't want to lose that. And then we don't want to lose the feeling that we get. See? See? The doubles don't have to be fast. And there's the upstroke. Click, 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 click. Click, 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 click. I don't I don't see any click click. I'm exaggerating a little bit. So you're, 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 you're like this. Right? It sounds okay, doesn't it? But Try one more time. Put the metronome on at uh, nice and easy. that in one hand. Where's your up? Here's your up. Turn. Where's it? it doesn't go like this on the way up. It just goes like this. Like like your click. Click, 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 up. Double. Double throw. Click click throw. Click click. Oh. Click click. Come on, just do just do this. Click, click. See, because you're because you're not playing palm down. None of this is available to you. Click, click. No, no, just click, click. No, nope, you're turning sideways. You just can't get it to rebound with a three finger grip. Just do this. That's, that's a, we're, I don't want to jump too far ahead. You've done really well today, right? This is the next. Little thing we're gonna, we're gonna peel away at, chip away at. But just so, just four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Go on. Three, three, four. One, two, three, four. There's not much closure at the end. Watch. Watch. Okay. This stays fairly straight. Yours goes like this. See? You don't want to, it, it does, if that means you're opening up your hand. Better, just hold the stick. Don't open up your hand. Three finger grip, it'll rock through there. Just maintain it. Do it again. Oh, you opened up your hand. That's why I get the fourth and fifth off. That was a good one. Just just make sure it's a three finger grip. Don't crush it. But... Ah! Do that with the other hand. Okay, both hands are going to do that alternating each other. Go for it. Now play three in each hand. Look, you're palm down. Now two. Now just turn those into doubles. Combine them. Da 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 da. 
No, slower, slower. You, you, you're a little slower. So, oh, watch again. Watch. Go one, two, three, four. Go one, two, three, four. Do it again. Now just count the first two. Right, no, play four and count the first two. One, two. One, two. One, two. That's the speed of your one, two. One. That's going to be the speed of your doubles. One, two. Do just the first two. Just the first two. That's the speed. Don't slow it down. But don't speed it up. Okay, now play doubles at that speed. Da da. You know what the speed is. Play doubles. Da 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 da. Put them not faster than that. Come on, don't go into half turned over in the right. Now go back to four. Now the other hand. Three. That's your speed. Dot da. Dot da. Two. Dot da. Dot da. Put them together as a roll. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Just the first two of the four. Go back to four. Back to four. Pretty good. Back to four. Oh. Four. Four. Three. Two. Put them together. Don't lose your turn. Why does the turn height of turn change? Keep the height of turn one more time, and then I'm going to wrap it up. No, don't go faster. You always want to do that. I got it. No, it's not. It's not this. But you had. You did. Give me four. Decide how high you're. Well, decide how high you're going to turn. Like that high, okay? There. That's how high you're going to turn for all of these iterations. Now three turn that high. Now two turn that high. Now put them together at that speed, turning that high. You don't want to do it, huh? Come on, doubles. You don't lose your height of turn. You lost your height of turn. You got to turn up like the same height. There it is. There. Okay. Just work on that. Next next week we'll work on turning that into a roll stroke with upstrokes and throws. But you're getting the shit. Good. I hope so. <laughs> well, you were you were able to play Richard Wilson's crazy, you know, metric modulation, whatever the heck he's got going up there in that 186 IQ brain, right? So, right, and and you were and you were able the and you were able to make good good throws. You you were maybe until today you haven't been able to play alternating flams. I just couldn't get you to just go duh, 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 and then turn that tap tap. Right into clap, 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 because there's an upstroke. Because there's an upstroke. And it goes click, 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 throw. Click, 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 throw. Click, 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 throw. One note on the first click, or maybe you just stay in that position without touching the surface. But you're so close to the surface, it's really easy to touch, and no one would know. You'll barely know. You need the sensitivity because. You're just making contact from a quarter, half an inch. You'll feel it in your body. And now that you're developing a better sense of floor, you'll know that from this height away from the surface, the first click will be like that high forever. Mm. Okay, cool. turning it off. <laughs>